Hi guys, Jimmy McIntyre here and welcome to another episode of Photoshop Secrets. Today I'm going to show you how to very quickly and easily create a perfect luminosity mask for your image. Sometimes standard luminosity masks don't give us the selection we need, so we have to go a little bit further to create even more accurate luminosity masks. But fortunately we can do this very quickly. But let me give you an example with this image first. So this is an image from Paris and I want to blend the darker exposure into the brighter exposure. Essentially I want to take this nice sky and put it in this brighter image. Now if I create some standard luminosity masks through Raya Pro and we can go to the channels palette to see those luminosity masks, we can see that we don't have a great selection of the sky which also excludes the building. And by that I mean to make a good selection we need the sky to be really light grey or white and the foreground building to be dark grey or black. Whatever's white or light grey will be included in the mask and whatever's black or dark grey will be excluded in the mask. So for example the sky here is reasonably bright while the building is reasonably dark. So we can use this mask as an example, but first I'm just going to create a black layer mask on this darker exposure by holding down Alt or Option on a Mac and left clicking on the Add a Mask icon. Then I can go to Brights 2, hold down Control on a PC or Command on a Mac and left click on the thumbnail. Then I click once on the top layer and once on this mask here. And I press Control and H or Command and H to hide the marching ants. Now with a white paintbrush and an opacity of 100% I can start to paint in the darker exposure. And you can see though that the building is being selected in the mask. It's been darkened by the blending process. So Brights 2 Luminosity Mask and in fact all of these Luminosity Masks won't give us the selection we want. If you're a Raya Pro user, you don't need to worry about this because you can create your own luminosity masks by using manual adjust and you can shape the mask as you please. But if you don't have Raya Pro, to very quickly and instantly create your own masks is very simple. I'm just going to delete this layer mask and create a new layer mask. And now I'm going to create a black and white layer. Essentially, we're going to make our big image a luminosity mask. And it's much easier to do that if we make it black and white first, just so that we can visualize it. Now I'll open up a levels layer. And remember, we need the sky to be white and the building to be dark gray or black. So I'm just going to bring the highlights all the way along and bring the midtones to the right. And you see we're darkening the building beautifully. So now we have a pretty strong selection of the sky and excluding the foreground. And usually we wouldn't go for a luminosity mask with edges as strong as this. We prefer there to be smooth gradients between the darker areas and the lighter areas. But in this situation it should work okay. So now to make the selection, the luminosity mask selection, we just go to our channels palette and choose one of our channels. So I'm going to choose blue, hold down control or command on a Mac and left click on this channel. Now we can choose our layer again and just click on the mask. Then we make these two invisible because we don't need them anymore and we hide the marching ants. Now I can choose a paintbrush and just paint in that beautiful sky. And obviously this is a little bit too surreal because the foreground's too bright compared to the, the sky but all we need to do is just to bring the opacity of the sky layer down a bit and if we want to still retain some of that detail without losing too much of it I'm just going to bring it down a little bit more we can press command and D or control and D to deselect our selection open up the curves layer and clip it to this darker exposure and we can bring it down just a little bit where the sky is and bring the highlights up dramatically. So we're kind of matching the brightness of the sky layer to the brightness of the foreground layer. And just to show you that the selection's very clean, we can just zoom in to the sky here and you can see there's no real edging. It's a nice clean selection. 
And that is how you make an instant luminosity mask to perfectly fit your needs. So next time you struggle with the selection, all you need to do is create a black and white layer and a levels layer and just create the mask that you want. I realize here that the foreground is a little bit superimposed on the sky and that's because really these two exposures don't fit together at all. The darker exposure is far too dark to go on this brighter exposure which for a foreground shot at night is simply too bright so that's why it looks a little bit surreal. I only use these two images just to give you an idea of how you can create your own luminosity masks. When I created the original image I used four different exposures and it looked a lot more natural. But anyway, thanks again and I'll see you next time.